Hi, in this video, I will be going to discuss one of the sorting technique which is known as radix sort algorithm. I strongly recommend you that first you saw my video about counting sort because radix sort uh, works on the principle of counting sort. There are here and there are some changes also, but the main calling of function and whole working is uh, as similar as counting sort. Then question arises in your mind that if we have a counting sort, why we need another algorithm? Okay, but there are some demerits in uh, counting sort which are solved by the radix sort algorithm. First is it is very linear time complexity taking algorithm. In counting sort, if we have k range, then it also possible that k should could be a n square. Then our time complexity goes from linear time to quadratic time. So, but this case is not happen in the radix sort algorithm. Whether the size is large or medium or small of array, it is always takes big of n time plus d. That means it is always linear time complexity taking algorithm. It is very similar to counting sort and it is used for large files and in subroutine calls it uses counting sort function as it is uh, but there are some changes so what they, the the changes are i'll take here one example and show you i take here six numbers that is 3192126850 so first step of this algorithm is that we have to assign equal length of digits to all the array elements for example 319 is three digit element digit three digit and six is one digit element so we have to append to zero before six that's we get zero zero six so that is we have to rewrite the number with leading zeros and after that stable sort or according to stable sort we have to take a least significant digit which is the rightmost digit and we have to compare that digit to the all other digits for example 100 have 0 on the right hand side here then 50 have this last digit and so on so so we have to compare those digits the least significant digit we have to after comparing them we have to sort from the right hand side because we have to take a stable sort that's why we have to start from right and then 100 have least number of uh, least significant digit that is 0 then after 0 5 0 then 2 1 2 then 0 0 6 then 0 0 8 then 3 1 9 then in next step in next it next iterative call we have to take the middle digit and then we have to sort according to the middle middle digit of the each and every number and after that, that sorting after that, we have to sort the element from most significant digit. So the number of passes in this algorithm requires number of digits equal to the number of passes. Means if there are three digits in one number, we have to require three passes. Likewise. So this is a radix sort. So first we get the maximum number, which is and we compare with that to the other number then we use counting sort function as it is and there are some changes because we have to take care about the least middle and most significant digit as as per requirement so that's it. this is explanation so we have to code it so first we have to write the function about get max we have to take one array and number of digits so in get max uh, we have to assign one variable and we have to pass our array to that particular each and every variable and we have to apply if condition if array of i is greater than max mx 
then we have to assign mx as array of i that's it so after using for loop for each and every element we compare each element and after that we just return mx so why we, why we would require this element because for each pass we require the maximum element in that particular array so as to uh, get the number of digits into that particular array, uh, array and we have to sort according to as 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 already explained so just we take maximum and pass that so after that we have to uh, write down the radix sort algorithm which takes array as parameter then n then exponent because we have to compare a number with respect to its digits that's why the exponent variable we have to take we have to first write count sort so in count sort function we have to first take one output array which is of length n then int i then int count as we did in counting sort algorithm same we do here also and assign it to 0 means each and every element of counting sort algorithm of sorry counting sort array we have to assign it to 0 then we have to use for loop i less than n we have to increment each and every element of count as discussed in the counting sort algorithm video we just do same with here also but just one uh, difference here is we divided by exponent why because in first pass we require one because in if we divide array of i by exponent which is exponent is uh, like the number of digits in that particular array then we get the quotient and that quotient is the number of times that particular digit is occur in that particular array so we have to just do divided by 10 each time because we want remainder after getting the portion that means if we have 319 if you divide it, it by 10 we get the 9 as remainder sorry 9 as remainder so that is our first step in this algorithm yes, or this function after that again we have to increment count because at each time if we found the same element again and again we have to increment that by the count as we take size as 10 for the count array we have to take as it is count of i minus 1 that's it so that's why we add each time the previous count digit to the forward count uh, element and again we use for loop i is equal to n minus 1 i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus this time we uh, start from the last of the digit because we want a stable algorithm for first two for loop we just take remainder 
because we want the last digit then we uh, we want middle digit then we want the most significant digit so as per requirement we uh, write down the code for each and every array element in second array we increment that particular count index uh, that which means that is index for the my parameter array we have to increment that particular array elements by previous element so that we can count the number of repetitive elements and in this and this uh, particular array we have to use count of array of i and we have to divide it by exponent as we did earlier and we have to take the remainder that's why we modulo by 10 and just minus 1 and we have to store it into array of i after that we have to increment our decrement our count also because we get that array, array element fixed in its original position so array of i divided by exponent modulo 10 and we just decrement that means we found out the original position of that particular array that's it so after doing this we have to return each and every element to the array parameter element from output element so i less than n i plus plus array of i is equal to output of i Okay, so counting sort function is ready. So radix sort function takes two parameter array and length. First, we have to take maximum which we get from the get max function, and we have to pass array and number of elements. That's why we get that's how we get the number of maximum maximum digits occur in that particular array which tells us about if there are for example if there are 1000 uh, then 99 then 1 that means the greatest digit occur in that particular element is 4 digit so we have to take care about that that we have 4 digits so we have 4 passes that's why we take here get max function and by using that get max function we uh, get m as our number of last digit or the most frequent digit then after that we have to use exponent is equal to 1 m divided by exponent should be greater than 0 because uh, we start from the 1 10 100 if, if it, it goes beyond 0 means it is get, going into the negative side then our array element throws error because uh, array indexes cannot be negative so exponent is equal to exponent into 10 means we have to 10 take multiple of 10 as our exponent and then we have to call count sort function to do the rest of the working so just check everything is okay just first we write get max function to get the number of largest element that's why we sorted uh, diary element then count sort function first we initialize count array to 0 we take here 10 elements after that we take the count of array of i divided by exponent mod 10 
that means we take each digit and increment that for that each digit we increment index of the count array then after that we after we finding the number of uh, zeros in increasing or decreasing order then we increment the previous next digit by the previous digit and add it to the count i and after that we store output of i to the array of i and that's it so just check the elements 319 21 2 one, two, one, two, six, eight, hundred and fifty. So these are the elements. You have to take size of array. size of array divided by size of array of zeroth element which gives you the size of the array and print function so we have to write the print function also so void print array print array size of element sorry number of elements then for loop less than an i plus plus then for each pass we have to print element that's it so print function is ready so everything gets ready i think we get correct output so as you see on the screen we get the correct sorted array which is 6850 100 200 12 and 319 and what we pass we pass this array and after using the algorithm which is a radix sort and counting sort function we get the result so dry run the code first again we first take the array elements then we find out the maximum number of digits present in that particular element which is maximum then we rewrite uh, the number with leading zeros so as to compare with digits then we start with the least significant digit we sort the array uh, by using counting sort function which is a stable algorithm then we compare with the middle digit of that particular array for each element then we sort the array then again we take the most significant digit we compare the elements and we sort the array for each pass we take call from the counting sort function uh, which i was already discussed in video of counting sort you can see the link in corner up right below i button we have to click over there so that we can you can get the overall idea of counting sort function so that's it thank you stay blessed if you like my videos like share subscribe